Anna will now show you how to perform a good vision screening. Plus Optics devices are designed to measure refraction of both eyes simultaneously from one meter or just over three feet distance from the child. The refraction is compared to the preselected referral criteria, which results in a pass or refer being displayed on the screen. Plus Optics vision screeners do not provide a medical diagnosis. Children with a refer result should be sent to an eye care professional for a comprehensive eye examination. Anna has properly adjusted the light in the room and distractions have been removed. The Plus Optics S12 vision screener has been turned on. She is ready to bring in the first child. The child is placed in a chair in approximately 4 feet or 1.2 meters distance to the device and is given simple instructions to lessen fears about the measurement. This will be fun! Anna needs to verify the date and time displayed on the header bar is correct as well as the battery charge. If the battery charge is low, she should plug in the power supply. The device can be used while the batteries are charging. She is now ready to start the measurement. This is the home page. If Anna does not see this page, she simply presses the shutter button on the handle once. The referral criteria are age-based, so it is important to select the correct age of the patient by touching the corresponding section on the timeline. Look for the Go button in the navigation bar. If it is blinking, a new measurement can be started. Hold the device approximately 4 feet or 1.2 meters away from the child. Although the measurement distance is 3.3 feet or 1 meter, a degree of practice is required to estimate this distance. It is easier to hold the device a little further away at the start of a measurement and slowly move it towards the child. Hold the device at a 45 degree angle. The device should be held level and flush with the child's eyes. Instruct the child to look directly at the nose of the smiley face. When screening very young children, Anna will need to stand in the child's line of sight to ensure the nose on the smiley face is directed towards the child's eyes. Babies are best screened while being held over a parent's shoulder. Press and release the shutter button. An attention-grabbing warble sound will emit from the speaker in the Plus Optics device. Watch the screen and move it slightly until you see both pupils centered on the screen. Since Anna is standing too far from the child, she will see white squares around the pupils in a blurred picture. As Anna moves forward, the squares will turn to red circles and the picture is in clear focus. Anna needs to continue in that direction until the red circles begin to turn green. Standing with one leg slightly in front of the other, as if riding a surfboard, allows Anna to easily rock forward or backward as necessary to obtain green circles around each pupil she sees on the screen. Once Anna sees that each pupil is surrounded by a green circle, she needs to pause for just a moment. When this happens, Another attention-grabbing warble sound will be emitted. A ping sound indicates the end of the measurement. The screening result, as well as the camera image, will appear on the screen. Have a look at video 5 to receive more information about checking the measurement results. Anna, remember to stand with one leg slightly in front of the other, as if you're riding a surfboard.